Without your rising, your ascendant, you wouldn't exist. It reveals the moment you enter this earthly realm. It creates your entire chart. And in esoteric astrology, the importance of the rising, the ascendant, surpasses the importance of the sun and the moon. Although, of course, every little part will reveal who you are, why you're here, where you come from, and all that you want to know. But the ascendant is extremely profound. Now, because it reveals the energy you entered into this world with, it also reveals your aura. And auras have many different forms. Your rising, your ascendant can reveal much about your aura. And in this video, I'm going to go through all the 12 zodiac signs and reveal your unique aura. So you can check out the timestamps down below. But I do want you to bear in mind that remember that you're a unique being. Everyone has a unique aura. No two auras are the same, right? And there are many other factors that contribute to your aura. So keep that in mind. But this will be an overall picture of each zodiac sign's aura. Aries rising, Aries ascendant have a very hot spicy, fiery aura. In fact, when you are in their presence, you will feel the heat. You will feel the fire. You may even <laughs> break into a sweat because they are the manifestation of Mars in physical form. They have a very strong presence and they're always ready to get into defense mode. They're always ready to take up a challenge. They're always ready to go on an adventure, even if it's a solo adventure, even if the adventure has a lot of red flags, like they are not afraid. They are always up for a challenge and you can feel that in their energy. You can also feel this impulsiveness in their energy because they're ready to go at any time. They don't like being still. They like to be on the go. They like to move around. So sitting down, being quiet is not their thing. They always want to be doing something. They want to be physically and mentally active. So you may feel that impulsive energy when you are around them. You may feel the heat that they have. And sometimes the Aries energy can be so intense because they are a cardinal fire sign that you can feel a little intimidated around them because you're like, okay, I don't know what they're going to do next. I don't know what they're going to say. It's this fire that they have that can make you feel a little hot under the collar as well. So Aries has a very fiery, intense, strong spirited energy that is always ready to go onto the battlefield. Taurus rising and ascendant. Taurus is an earth sign. Therefore, they're going to have a very calm and grounded energy about them. You may not be able to get much out of them. They are not as open like an air sign. In fact, you have to try a little hard to get them to get out of their shell because they like to be comfortable. And that's because it's their fixed nature. A bull is a very different type of animal where it's just a little more stern. However, when you're around them, you can also, some of them, you can feel like they are this beautiful rose garden as well. Because they are embodying nature, they are embodying Gaia. It's like they can have the Garden of Eden type of energy where you feel calm, where you feel serene, and where you feel blissful because that calming earth nature makes you feel good. It makes you feel comfortable around them. And also in modern astrology, Taurus is ruled by planet Venus. Venus is the goddess of love and relationships and beauty and creativity and art. It's Aphrodite. So some Taurus rising and ascendants can give a very Venusian energy. They can feel very blissful and very gracious and elegant. They have that beautiful earth quality about them. And others can have the Hephaestus energy where they are cool and grounded, but there is this burning fire, fuel, flame, volcano within them. And if you step over their boundaries or poke at them a bit too much, that volcano can erupt. Gemini rising, Gemini ascendant, they have a very open, welcoming energy. So when you are in their presence, you feel like you can go up to them and talk to them. You feel like you can talk about anything, the ceiling, the floor, absolutely anything. This is a movement energy. It likes to move. It likes to interact. It likes to communicate and engage. So when you are in the presence of a Gemini rising, a Gemini ascendant, you feel like you can walk up to them. You can feel like you can talk about absolutely anything. It's not hard work. It's not difficult. In fact, Gemini rising, Gemini ascendants, those with strong Gemini energy, they're just icebreakers. They can go into a room, if it's quiet, if it's awkward, they can break the ice. So this is a very welcoming, interactive energy. And they will 
charm you in. They also have a magnetic aura about them. Not in the way as, let's say, a Scorpio, but they have their own unique magnetism that can draw you in, where you feel comfortable around them. And it's this energy that moves around. It's mutable which means it's able to be flexible and move around and shape shift so they can some of them also have this etheric energy about them they can feel like they're just time traveling like they're so knowledgeable they have so much information and they're so intellectual that they're always time traveling and you're like okay are you in the past are you in the future what dimension are you at right now because there's like i said something very etheric about them okay let's talk about cancer rising cancer ascendant Cancer is the only zodiac sign ruled by the moon. She, the moon, the mystical, magical moon. So, Cancer rising and ascendants have a very mystical, magical, also very etheric energy about them that will pull you in, that makes you feel like you just want to go towards them and get to know them because they also have a very soothing and nurturing energy about them. The moon is the nurturer. The moon is the mother energy. So regardless if the Cancer rising ascendant is male or female, there's this warmth about them that pulls you towards them. They do have this mystical, magical element about them that you want to get to the bottom of. It's intriguing, it's magnetic, it's also hypnotic in its own unique way. In fact, when you're around a Cancer Rising Ascendant, you feel more intuitive and spiritual because just their presence, because they are the embodiment, the physical manifestation of the moon, they are like a catalyst. They're triggering, activating others. So when you're in the presence of them, you can feel safety, you can feel safe, you can feel like you're protected, you can feel like you're being seen, you can feel like they can empathize with you and also they can be very activating for you. Leo rising, Leo ascendant, their aura is full of this lion, lioness energy. When you are in their presence, you feel this leader, you feel the star of the show, you feel the spotlight is just on them. There's something that is also very magnetic about them that you see, you can hear, you can feel, you can sense. There's this very strong energy about them. Also, this flame, sacred flame, fire within them too. It's very hard to ignore a Leo rising, Leo ascendant. And often, they can also be very intimidating. Although they are very open, they can be very bubbly and very social, the life of the party, because they have this lion lioness within them that is very strong because they are oozing confidence and they have this magnetism because the leo is the embodiment of the sun so it is emanating light as soon as they walk into a room you know it's a leo you know it's a leo rising leo ascendant because they have this very strong magnetic bold confident energy aura about them but also they have this warmth about them too leo is a heart chakra energy so although it can take the limelight it's always gonna make others giggle it's gonna help bring the inner child out of others it's gonna be a playful energy so we can actually uplift others vibration and their frequency as well Virgo rising and Virgo ascendant, because they are an earth sign, they can have a very grounding, calm, and healing energy. In fact, when you are in their presence, if you feel anxious or you just feel a little nervous, they'll actually, because they're so sensitive, they will be able to actually absorb that from you and that will leave you feeling a little more better. They're very sensitive and they're able to absorb, pull in the energy wherever they are. So they can actually have a very positive impact on you. They can feel very healing. And some of them can have a very Persephone type of energy. When you are in their presence, you know that they'll help you out with anything. They'll communicate with you. They'll talk it through. They will provide solutions. They are problem solvers. So when you are around them in their presence, they will always lend you a helping hand and you will feel that energy about them. You'll notice that. And they can also have a very humble energy and aura about them. They're not like Leo Leo Risings who are always going to be dressed their best. No, they're just going to be completely authentic to who they are. They're not going to be doing the most. They're not going to be, you know, taking the spotlight. They're just always going to be 
of service to others and you're gonna feel that about them libra rising libra ascendant this energy is for a female almost like a disney princess type of energy and for a male like a disney prince type of energy because it is very venusian libras are ruled by planet venus the goddess of love and relationships beauty and creativity and harmony aphrodite so they have a very beautiful energy about them they're going to be very attractive and beautiful and you're going to feel drawn to them if it's a libra rising ascendant female men are just going to be super attracted to her they're going to be drawn to her if it's a libra male women are going to be attracted to him because there's this beauty that they are radiating and it's the beauty of the heart chakra and that heart chakra is also manifested in their physical form and they are an air energy so they are going to be very open open to talking to you open to interacting and communicating and getting to know you and you're going to feel comfortable you're going to feel that about them that's a vibe the energy you're going to feel so that's why you're most likely going to be able to walk up to them and have a conversation they're going to be open they're not going to judge you they're not going to look at you like what are you doing no they are going to have this grace about them this elegance this sophistication and they are just emanating like I said this beauty this etheric beauty and in their presence you can also feel very calm relaxed and you can feel also this magical energy as well and listen if you need to feel more balanced surround yourself around Libra risings and ascendants Scorpio rising and Scorpio ascendants this energy is a force of its own there are no words that can truly describe this energy the potency that they emanate, that they hold. When you are around them in their presence, there is this fire. Although Scorpio is a water sign, I always say this, how I see the Scorpio energy as a consciousness. I see water and I see fire. Scorpio is ruled by planet Mars, but also Pluto. It's a mix of two very alpha strong dominant energies so when you are around them you can feel intimidated you can feel a little uncomfortable because it's almost like they are revealing or even triggering all the darkness that is around the shadows all that needs to be released or transmuted or alchemized they are shadow workers they are extremely strong and, and potent domineering of course our favorite words i was trying to avoid this word but you just cannot when you're talking about the scorpio energy they have this intensity about them that can take your breath away but at the same time it can be so hypnotizing and so magnetic that you're so curious about them and you just want to get to know them you want them to open up but damn, are there some barriers that you have to really get through? So simultaneously, they hold an energy that can be very intimidating, but at the same time, others can be so curious and hypnotized and want to get to know the Scorpio even more deeper than they appear. There's also this magic about them, this esoteric magic that surrounds them. Sagittarius rising and ascendant. This is a very open energy because Sagittarius is a mutable sign. So you will feel comfortable around them. You feel like you can go approach them. You feel like you can have a giggle, a laugh, and talk about anything and just get lost in conversation and time travel in conversation. They have this energy, this aura about them that feels welcoming. Like you can approach them, like you can get to know them, like in fact, when you start to talk to them, you can feel like you've known them forever because that's how comfortable they'll make you feel. That's how they'll just make you giggle and open up and it's just like friends coming together. So they have a very comforting energy about them. Now they can definitely have an energy that also has a lot of flames and a lot of fire because Sagittarius is a mutable fire sign. But at the same time, it's a very bubbly, open energy that makes you feel happy as well. Like instantly in their presence, you feel like you can breathe, relax relax and just be yourself and laugh and giggle and just have some fun so this is also very soothing and very healing in its own unique way your inner child will also actually come out in their presence they will activate it out and that is also going to uplift 
your frequency, your vibration, and it's just great. Great to surround yourself with a Sagittarius rising ascendant because you're always going to have fun with them. Capricorn rising and ascendant. Their energy can feel very stoic at times, like you can't get a reaction from them because they are an earth sign. So earth energy is very grounded and anchored but also they are ruled by Saturn, that is their chart ruler. Saturn is an authority figure. So they are an embodiment, a physical manifestation, so they don't really show much emotion. Their energy may not feel that open, like you may not feel like you can just go up to them and talk to them, because they just look very serious. They look very focused, they look very busy, and sometimes they can be also so stoic where you cannot get like a reaction out of them where they won't even like smile at you because it's like Saturn. If you think about a Saturn transit, Saturn puts you through it. Saturn doesn't give you a chance to smile or giggle because it's always serious. So when you're around them, you may not feel like you can, you know, be wild or be, you know, over the top because you feel like they may just be judging you and that's because they're just so serious, so grounded and anchored and they are just focused. They're just dialing up everything in their brain. And sometimes Capricorn rising and ascendant can give you like the do not disturb type of vibe, the type of energy where you may wanna approach them or you wanna talk to them or what have you, but they just look so busy. They just look like they are just in another realm, planning, working, even though they are like across the room from you, you know? So that's that Saturnian energy. They give that very authoritative, energy where they are just very level-headed and they're very focused but also some of them can give you the type of energy where you feel like okay this person if I ask them to do something for me if I ask for a favor if we you know have an agreement that they will show up like they will get it done like you can trust them if you are close with them you can rely on them you can always count on them to get the job done so they can give you that type of impression that type of energy but also some of them, because they are an earth sign, they can give you that grounded energy, like it's okay, calm down, come back to earth, you know, get it together, get back in your physical body, and, and you know, anchor yourself. Drop to the root chakra. Aquarius rising and ascendant. This is a galactic energy, so you feel like they are from the future, another world, another reality, and when you're around them, you just want to get to know them. You're so curious, and because they have an air energy, you will naturally feel gravitated towards them, and some of them can be very social, some of them can be a little icy, where you can feel that coldness, and you can feel that ice wall around them, but it just depends on what kind of Aquarian, uh, Aquarian rising ascendant you're trying to approach. Like I said, some of them, you know, it's like they're super social, and you can just get on so quickly, so easily, and you can really have some interesting, innovative conversations, whereas others can give you the type of energy like, stay away from me, don't get too close, you know, I have some boundaries, do not cross them, so like I said, it just depends, but they give a very galactic energy, like they've been time traveling, like they're from the future, like they are an old soul, yet so young, yet so different and unique, and you just want to get to know them. You just want to understand their mind. Like, you know that they have a lot of knowledge and wisdom. You feel that mystical energy around them. Pisces rising, Pisces ascendant. This is an etheric, magical, mystical energy. For a female, it's like a Disney princess, and for a male, it's like a Disney prince type of energy. It's like the mermaid and the merman, and you can dive in right deep. It's a very galactic energy too, similar to the Aquarian galactic, but this is more like spiritual. This is more intuitive and deep, and you can feel that around them. You feel like you're able to dive into the deep end of the ocean with them, swim at the deep end of the ocean, and you feel this grace about them. You feel like they can understand you and they can empathize with you. They can also help you connect with your spirituality and the ether because they are ruled by Neptune. And Neptune is an extremely high 
frequency energy. It's the dreams, it's the imagination, the creativity, the healing. And they give that healing energy, they give that empathic energy. They have a very, like I said, mystical, magical energy that it's also very magnetic. Like you want to just gravitate towards them and understand their world. You want to dive into their imagination. You want to, you know, get creative with them and create magic. So this is such a beautiful, compassionate, loving, healing, mystical and magical energy. It's just so beautiful. So I hope you enjoy this video all about your rising sign and aura. If you did, show this video some love, share it, and I'll see you very soon. Lots of love.